Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we gather here today. We are here today, Father, under your care and under your protection. Thank you, Father God, for your loving kindness. For your loving kindness, it never, ever fails us. We thank you, Father God, for those that are here right now. Here right now, Father God. In the joining together right now. I pray that you would guide our thoughts and our actions, Father God, so that we may bring you glory. Strengthen us and fill us with your peace. Hallelujah. We glorify your name. We thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome, welcome. Come on into the room. Get your Bibles ready. Because we are going to be reading the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 7. Amen. And I will begin reading in um, the KJV, the version of the KJV, King James Version. All right. The title here is The King of Righteousness. For this Melchizedek, King of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. Hallelujah. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpreting interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. Amen. Verse 3, Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither being beginning, of days nor end of life but made like unto the son of god abideth a priest continually now consider how great this man was unto whom even the patriot abraham gave the tenth of the spoils and verily they that are of the sons of levi who received the office of the priesthood have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law that is of their brethren though they come out of the loins of Abraham but he whose descendant is not counted from them Receive tithes of Abraham, and blessed him that had the promises, and without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. Amen. Verse 8. And there, and here men that die receive tithes, but there he received, he receiveth them, of whom it is witnessed that he liveth. Verse 9. And as I may so say, Levi also who received tithes, paid tithes in Abraham, for he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. So again, we'll go up here to verse 8 again, and it says, And here men that die receive tithes, but there he receiveth them, of whom it is witness that he liveth. Verse 9, 
And as I may so say, Levi, also who receiveth tithes, pay tithes in Abraham. Right here, Levi, who received, receiveth tithes. He paid tithes in Abraham, for he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. Now we go over to verse 11. The title here is, A Surety of a Better Testament. A Surety of a Better Testament. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further further need was there that another priest should rise after the, the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe, of which no man gave attendance at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident for that after the similitude of Melchizedek, there ariseth another priest, who is made not after the law of a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. For he testifieth, Thou art a priest for ever after the order of Melchizedek. For there is verily a disannulling of the commandment going before for the weakness and unprofitableness thereof. For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did by the which we draw nigh unto God. And inasmuch as not without an oath, he was made priest. For those priests were made without an oath, but this with an oath by him that said unto him, The Lord swear and will not repent, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Verse 22. By so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We go over here now to verse 22. And the title here is An Unchangeable Priesthood. An Unchangeable Priesthood. Hallelujah. And they truly were made, were many priests, because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. But this man, because he continueth, ever hath an unchangeable priesthood. Hallelujah. Wherefore he is able also to save them in the uttermost. Wherefore, verse 25 here, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. For such an high priest became us, who was holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, 
and made higher than the heavens, who needed not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice, first for his own sins, and then for the peoples. For this he did once, when he offered up himself. Speaking of Jesus Christ here. The last verse here, verse 28. For the law maketh men high priests, which have infirmity. But the word of the oath, which was since the law, maketh the Son, who was consecrated forevermore. Hallelujah, glory, glory. Okay, I am going over here um, for more clarity here. Let's see. Um, I have the ERV, the easy to read version, and the voice. Okay, I'm going to read the ERV here. And uh, I'll read it real quickly here. Starting with verse 1, it says, Melchizedek was the king of Salem and a priest for God the Most High. He met Abraham. When Abraham was coming back after defeating the kings, that day, let's see here, I'm trying to scroll down here, and I might have to pull it up on another uh, type of platform because it's not um, scrolling down for me, so just give me a second here. And I'm going to pull it up on um, another platform here to read um, Hebrews chapter 7. Um, let's see, I have Hebrews 8 right here. Let's go to Hebrews 7. And we want, we just read the KJV. And let me pull up the ERV here. Okay, let me start all over again. The title here is the priest Melchizedek. Melchizedek. Melchizedek was the king of Salem and a priest for God, the Most High. He met Abraham when Abraham was coming back after defeating the kings. That day, Melchizedek blessed him. Then Abraham gave him a tenth of everything he had. The name Melchizedek, king of Salem, has two meanings. First, Melchizedek means king of justice, and king of Salem means king of peace. No one knows who his father or mother was or where he came from, and no one knows when he was born or when he died. Melchizedek is like the son of God in that he will always be a priest. You can see that Melchizedek was very great. Abraham, our great ancestor, gave him a tenth of everything he won in battle. Now the law says that those from the tribe of Levi who become priests must get a tenth from their own people, even though they and their people are both from the family of Abraham. Melchizedek was not even from the, t from the tribe of Levi, but Abraham gave him a tenth of what he had, and Melchizedek blessed Abraham, the one who had God's promises. And everyone knows that the more important person always blesses the less important person. The priests get a tenth, but they are only men who live and die. But Melchizedek, who got a tenth from Abraham, continues to live, as the scriptures say. Now those from the family of Levi are the ones who get a tenth from the people. But we can say that when Abraham paid Melchizedek a tenth, then Levi also paid it. Levi was not yet born, but he already existed in his ancestor Abraham when Melchizedek met him. The people were given the law under the system of priests from the tribe of Levi, but no one could be made spiritually perfect through that system of priests. 
so there was a need for another priest to come. I mean, a priest like Melchizedek, not Aaron. We know that Aaron is Moses' brother. Reading right along. And when a different kind of priest comes, then the law must be changed too. We are talking about our Lord Christ, who belonged to a different tribe. No one from that tribe ever served as a priest at the altar. It is clear that Christ came from the tribe of Judah. And Moses said nothing about priests belonging to that tribe. Reading verse 15 here, and the title here is, Jesus is a priest like Melchizedek. And these things become even clearer when we see that another priest has come who is like Melchizedek. He was made a priest, but not because he met the requirement of being born into the right family. He became a priest by the power of a life that will never end. This is what the scriptures say about him. You are a priest forever. The kind of priest Melchizedek was. The old rule is now ended because it was weak and worthless. The law of Moses could not make anything perfect. But now a better hope has been given to us. And with that hope we can come near to God. Also it is important that God made a promise with an oath when he made Jesus high priest. When those other men became priests, there was no oath. But Christ became a priest with God's oath. God said to him, The Lord has made a promise with an oath and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever. So this means that Jesus is a guarantee of a better agreement from God to his people. Also, when one of those other priests died, he could not continue being, being a priest. So there were many of those priests, but Jesus lives forever. He will never stop serving as a priest. So Christ can save those who come to God through him. Christ can do this forever because he always lives and is ready to help people when they come before God. So Jesus is the kind of high priest we need. He is holy. He has no sin. He is pure and not influenced by sinners. And he is raised above the heavens. He is not like those other priests. They had to offer sacrifices every day, first for their own sins and then for the sins of the people. But Jesus doesn't need to do that. He offered only one sacrifice for all time. He offered himself. Verse 28, the last verse here says, The law chooses high priests who are men and have the same weaknesses that all people have. But after the law, God spoke the oath that made his son high priest. And that son, made perfect through suffering, will serve forever. Hallelujah. So I hope that brought some clarity here. Um, Hebrews chapter 7. I want to read one more thing. Um, to you, Hebrews chapter 7 here. Um, let me pull it up here. And da, da 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 Give me one second here. And this is the synopsis, um, little summary here, um, of Hebrews chapter 7. And it says, Hebrews chapter 7 begins with the introduction of Melchizedek, emphasizing his superiority over over the Levitical priesthood established by the law of Moses and how Abraham gave a tenth of his spoils to him. It goes on to talk about Jesus being a priest in the order of Melchizedek, a priestly figure from the Old Testament. The chapter then goes on to explain how Jesus is like Melchizedek in several ways such as being a priest forever 
and having no genealogy or beginning or end of days. This makes Jesus a superior priest to the Levitical priests who had to offer sacrifices continually and who were subject to death. The scriptures also emphasize the importance of Jesus' sacrifice, which was a once-for-all sacrifice for sin. This contrasted with the Levitical priest who had to offer sacrifices repeatedly. The chapter argues that Jesus' sacrifice was able to accomplish what the Levitical sacrifices could not. It ends, the chapter ends with the encouragement to hold fast to the hope we have in Jesus, who is able to save us completely and who always lives to intercede for us as our high priest. Okay, so that is a summary of chapter 7. And it's all about Jesus being the high priest um, in the order of Melchizedek. And so um, we just want to hold on to that hope and that faith in Jesus who gave his life up, who intercedes for us, that Jesus is our high priest amen so i encourage you to reread this um download this show so that you'll have it in your archives and that um, you can listen to it um at your leisure i thank you all for being here now 12 o'clock eastern standard time and i thank you all who will be listening on the replay I really appreciate you all. So download the show, tell others about the show, and um, continue to keep on coming back and um, get your name on that email list um, on my um, blog there. And I'll leave a link there. And um, you'll have your name and your email um, address and um, I'll be able to send you some things from time to time or if something changes on the time or something um, happens in the ministry, then um, you'll be the first to get it. You'll be the first um, to know. Because sometimes I'll come on throughout the week. I haven't done so lately, but um, on my other show also, sometimes I'll just chime in from time to time and um, check that show as well as two shows on Spreaker. So go on Spreaker and and check the other show out as well if you have not um and like I say there's no set date for that show but I just come on and I chime in you know whenever um there's something that um I want to say or the Lord put something on my heart I'm gonna go on there and um I had a dream and I'm gonna um talk about that dream and um, I had a dream the other day I'm going to talk about that dream and um, what it means what it means for us all there were several great lessons in that dream so be sure to go over to that podcast that that other podcast um, and I'll probably start putting a link to that podcast also um, in my um, podcast descriptions as well so check that out i'll be talking about that dream and um some things um that are meaningful for us today and it's a very informal um podcast and um i just go right in i don't open or close with prayer or anything um but it's just exactly you know what the lord puts on my heart so again there's no specific time that I go on so check that one out as well and again I'll put that link um, in the description uh, whatever platform you're listening on so thank you for tuning in thank you for listening tell others about the show follow me on any of my social media sites I'll be sure 
to follow you back. And again, feel free definitely to, again to download the shows. Um, and I always say <laughs> that this is internet radio and things don't always stay on forever. So again, you'll have the show in your archives. And um, also when you um, go on that blog and get your name on the email list, there'll be three little um, lines or bars there at the top right and you just click that on and then it'll be a drop down and you see where um, you can enter um, your your name and your email address also um, any prayer requests questions comments or concerns there's a box there um, that you can add that in as well and so check out a couple of those articles there on the blog as well I post from time to time as well so that's all the announcements and I want to really really thank you for tuning in oh another announcement I urge you to tune in um, to Pastor Addison every Tuesday evening 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that's Pastor Addison A-D-D-I-S-O-N he has church service over the phone Tuesday evening so you can um, log in and well not log in but dial in and listen in there Um, I don't have that number in front of me but you can go on his website Addison Adamu A-D-D-I-S-O-N Addison Adamu A-D-A-M-U and um, he has the phone number and information there and um, check him out on Sunday too as well He's online Sunday doing church service, live church service there um, out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. So check him out on Sundays um, on YouTube and Facebook at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, he's just a, he's a prophet and he's a true man of God. So um, just urge you to check that out every Tuesday evening and Sunday. And um, he said, spoke about um, getting Thursday services up and um, Thursday night, I think Thursday evening book studies, but hasn't done it as as of this podcast. So just check them out. Check them out. Amen. So I just want to thank you all for tuning in. I really, really enjoy uh, myself, really, really enjoy being here with you. And I hope you got something out of uh, Hebrews chapter 7. So we're going to end now in prayer. Oh Lord, almighty God, hallelujah, glory to your name. Father God, you are the way, the truth, and the life. As it says in John, book of John 14, 6. Father God, I thank you, Father God. Now that we have read your word, we have discussed your word, Father God. You've been in the midst of us and your Holy Spirit is here. Father God, now that we have, may we walk and live in your ways, in your truth, in your life. Father God, as as you continually to reveal yourself to us, we thank you, Father. We bless your name, Father God. Your name is lifted up on high. We thank you for being right here, Father God, and the blessings. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray everyone, may they be, Father God, saved with their names on the book of life. Father God, may any sickness, may anything, Father God, may they be healed. May you pour your blessings down on everyone here today. I give you all the honor, Father, glory, and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this prayer. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God, glory to God. And um, it is going on about um, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, I think I went out a bit there, I'm not too sure. But um, it's going on about 30 minutes. And so I just want to thank you for tuning in. And um, this is the Blessings Ministry. This is the Blessings Ministry. So you're receiving a blessing right here, right here, being in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So we just want to just lift everyone up. Just pray. continue to pray for me. I'll continue to pray for you. Uh, we pray for 
the people in Mississippi that just just went through I think was it some it was a category or something for a tornado it, it hit really bad in Mississippi so we want to uh, lift lift those up in in the state of Mississippi um, we want to lift the, the people up um, the children and and all that the shootings that are going on in the schools we just want to pray for everybody just pray for everybody and pray for our children and our our, our children in elementary school our kids all the way up into college we just want to pray for safety for all of them every last one of them hallelujah let's let's pray let's pray for our children worldwide and let's pray for the things that's going on in israel let's pray for peace let's pray for peace hallelujah thank you thank you all for tuning in and again i really really appreciate you all and let's continue to stay connected so i just want to encourage you to have a wonderful beautiful day afternoon or evening whatever time that you are listening wherever you're at in the world take care and go in